This episode of Toast in Action is brought to you by the Ego 56 Volt Power Plus system, available at the Home Depot. For more, visit egopowerplus.com. Husqvarna, back at GIE, here with Jen, and this is for you lazy people out there. Oh. This is one of the best things ever. You could sit on your porch, drink a beer, and watch a robot mow your lawn, right? That's you, pretty you, much what you, you can you do. You can definitely do that. I would add, though, that the benefit truly is the always mowed lawn. Think about that for a second. It's every day, Monday through Wednesday to Saturday, whatever your mo your lawn always looks perfect. That's the real. Yeah, thing. that's that's actually a good. Yeah. What, right. Now, how does this run? Does it constantly run all day, or, or you set the, it? Or the concept is it maintains the lawn. Okay. Right? So when you think about a mower in general, you usually think about I back, I take the mower out of the garage, I go out and mow for a few hours, I put it back, and next weekend or whenever, that's when I go back and get the mower, right? Right. Well, the way the auto mower works is the mower will back out of its charging station, right? We actually have it the station right here. Now, does that example. stay outside, that charging yeah, absolutely. station? Absolutely. Wow. Uh, put usually up against the house, you know, near where you can get a power source, right. right? And so this becomes its home base. And so the machine will back out. It'll go and mow, right, for a couple hours. It'll come back home, Holy you know, when cow. it needs to be recharged. It knows where its base is, kind of like a Roomba. Finds back home. It, in, in a sense, actually, um, Automower technology was around before the Roomba was. Wow, yeah. okay. So. Um, but uh, that's how it basically works. It maintains, it goes out and mows, it comes back home, it gets a recharge and will go out again. And then all you're doing is really timing it based on the size property you have. Okay. You don't, if it doesn't have to be out there all the time, then there's no reason for it to be out there all the right. time. So you just time it appropriately and it takes care of your lawn for you. What kind of recommended acreage for something like this? Well, we have different models to look at. This is the 315. The 315 handles about a third of an acre. Okay. And I'm talking about a third of an acre of turf. You okay. know, if you have a 30 acre lot with a house and a right. you know pool and all that it's kind of stuff, smaller. Then yeah, yeah, exactly. So a third of an acre of actual turf, and then the next step up is the 430, which is not here today, but uh, that's about three quarters of an acre, and then the 450, which is our uh, our big boy here, that's 1.25 acres. Wow. So it actually handles quite that's a, a lot. lot more than you would think. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a lot. Now we live in Chicago, mm -hmm. so everything gets stolen. So what's going to prevent them from stealing one of these? That's from a my great yard? question and probably one of my top questions I get. Okay. And so the first and foremost, we have to understand that the machines won't work just anywhere. They're actually married to their installation, right? So that mower, when you set it up, marries to that charging station. And if it's not together, then it's not going to work. That doesn't mean that somebody might not come and, you know, pick the mower up, right? And think, it doesn't know all that and think they can use it somewhere, right? Right. But there's an alarm system built in. Right? So that if they were to pick it up, and you set it, and they were to lift it off the ground, if they don't have the pin code, the alarm goes off, and I don't care who you are, with the, how loud that alarm is, if it's screaming, you're probably going to put it down and just, and just take off. Just take you know off. I mean? Yeah. Because you're not going to be running down the road or, or with, a, with a screaming automobile at 3 o'clock in the morning. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Now, what if it's raining? Will it go out in the rain? Yep. Rain or shine, 24-7. The mower that I have at home, actually, I have operating from uh, 7 p.m. until, I'm sorry, 5 p.m. until 7 a.m. Man, that's So I run it through the night. You know, so it's, it's, it's virtually quiet, right? So it's mowing at night. But if it rains at any time, it, it, it does the job, it, it, it mows the rain, you know, so there's there's no no issues there at all. With, with, with wow. Water. Yeah, it's completely a sealed system, so no issues. And you said this isn't really new. This has been around for oh, yeah, quite we, a while. We, we actually brought the technology to the industry back in 1995. Wow. Yes, yeah, probably a little ahead of its time. You know? Obviously, We're just catching since up. then, though, they've morphed into a lot Come better a unit. Way. I mean, probably you didn't even have lithium ion back then. Oh, no, you? it wasn't lithium ion, not yeah. at all. Yeah, nickel metal hydrides right. was, was, was mostly what we used uh, back in those days. Yeah, wow. and actually we had some solar panel units, so solar powered units. Wow, that's yeah. pretty cool. Now, I saw some on one of them, there's a programming panel that you uh, pop well, up. Well, I mean, you've got the uh, the, you know, the basic uh, interface okay. you know, that you have here. So this is how you would interact with it. And same with us when you would just push the button here, it uh, opens up and, and all my, my programming is done here. Or we actually can use an app Right, we have an Aww. Automore app, so you could do everything from your phone if you wanted to. Is it Bluetooth or how does it connect? Uh, it just connects uh, right, right through um, uh, 
the uh, uh, so, uh, SIM card. That SIM was the card. word I was looking for. Oh, okay. Like, but yeah, but you put a SIM card in the, in the phone, okay. you as part of your, your service package with your phone. Yeah. Oh, got yeah. you. Okay. Right, right. That's cool. But uh, but yeah, I mean everything is right uh, is right in here. I mean you would just uh, turn the machine on. You would have all the ability to to, uh, uh, to change the mowing times, uh, to uh, program the installation um, uh, accessories from the headlights to uh, this particular machine over here. The, the the 450 actually has the ability also for a push button height of cut adjustment. This wow. one's manual, but that one actually has you program the height of cut and it actually uh, changes. So for like you. if you want this part of the yard higher, it will do it. And well, no, not so much that. Oh. It's uh, if, if if I want to, if my grass type is, you know, you know, I need two and a half inches, you know, cutting height, then I would just put it in here versus, oh, have, gotcha. versus okay. having a, a manual dial, okay. you know, to I dial it here. Saying, so it's not a yeah. great feature. Yeah. So pretty much, if you're a geek, this is your dream. If if you are a early adopter, yeah, then this is your dream. Uh, yeah, I'll say it that way. It's awesome stuff. Now, uh, warranty on one of these. Yeah, you have a two-year warranty okay. you know, on the machine. Uh, meant for homeowner use at this stage. We do have some uh, commercial um, aspirations, you know, for it right. in the very near future. Mostly tied to the uh, the app. You know, there has to be more like fleet management softwares and tools. Right. We're on the verge of doing that. So right now, two-year homeowner warranty. Cool. Prices range from two thousand up to. You got the bottom end and the top, right? Thirty-five thousand dollars or thirty-five hundred dollars for the machine. But you consider it's a little bit of an upfront cost. But again, what's the value of that time and the always mode lawn? That yeah, we and what's about a zero on? turn cost? Uh, zero turn can cost much yeah. more than that. Yeah, exactly. Right, so. and again, no fuel, virtually no zero maintenance. Is the battery replaceable in case something does happen? It certainly is. Cool. Yeah. And it's not the same batteries that go on the other tools. It's a special battery just for this. Well, right? it's still lithium ion, right. you know, but obviously it's a different pack. It's a different uh, control panel and different uh, configuration, but it's still a lithium ion technology. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Good stuff, man. All right. Thanks, Jen. Yeah, appreciate no it. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. You guys, check it out. Husvarna. Uh, don't forget to click subscribe. Don't forget to like this video because Jen wants you to, and he loves That's you right. guys. You love, I endorse. You love tools in action. I love tools in action. That's right. All Full right. endorsement from me. Yep, there we go. For more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.